Okay, Shades of Cleopatra and Mark Antony are coming in, and I don't think you were them, but their story is very similar. We're getting the lover, the venom, and the vow. Very big promises, very um, interesting time. The lover, the venom, and the vow. I'm getting really interesting shit coming through here. We've got something, um, the kidnapped is coming in. And I don't even know if it's it's actually as bad as all that. I think um, scurried away, like eloped is more accurate. Kidnapped is what it was seen as. I need to know if you're her or him. Pride in the price, that's not telling me. A family of wealth that would rather have somebody that is sufficient to meet the dowry, to sufficient to meet the need. They aren't predatory by expecting you to meet that. They aren't trying to con and use. However, they want a certain level. And this is kidnapped. This is somebody comes in, falls short. I think you're the female in this. This is the family of origin. This is the family of origin, and there's a lot of uh, pridefulness in here. I don't know that it's um, arist arist I always have trouble with aristocracy, aristocratic, but this is somebody, you would have land holding status, land owning status, your family would. This person isn't completely fly by night. They just don't like them. Different, different culture of a sort. And I don't even know if it's hugely religious difference or whatever. They just don't like him. They, your family is an uppity bunch. Uh, yeah, it feels very much like an elopement happened. Yeah, they see him as more like working class. He's not working class. He's like, he might not be as uppity up as your family, but... Um, He's not blue collar, you know, he's not like the plumber of the time either. In the land of tarot would be the difference between the king and queen courts and then the knights and the squires. And they see him as a squire, even though he's more like knight or closer to king and queen in his own level. Because the land is foreign, because the land is different to them, it's further away, they view that as less valuable. They don't really care for this fellow at all. They, they don't, um, they aren't telling you outright that they dislike him, but it's palpable. They, they are socially graceful enough to pretend to be nice. They don't like him. And he feels it, and he's going to court, and he's going to court, and he's going to court, and he's going to court. And no matter what he would do, no, nah, it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be impressive. <laughs> there is elopement, and he takes you away, he takes you away. You two are helped by somebody. And you do, you, you, you leave, you get out of Dodge. Yeah, okay, all right, we're back to this. Parents are livid. They counted on you marrying somebody of your own station. They counted on the marriage and the legal contract. It's like they had plans, and I don't know if it was formally arranged, but they had plans on what would make sense in the marriage contract. Not marrying for love, not marrying for any other reason other than acquiring land. Land ownership was important. Acquiring more wealth. This guy shows up and bing, your heart is done, done, done. Alchemist and magic has happened and this is um, balance, invention, and destruction. And all of this is threatening, threatening, threatening. Your dad is a control freak. Fuck, fuck, fuck. How old are you? This is young, 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 young. This is before you would even have been at college age. This is maybe like 15, maybe, and maybe 15. When you, you're old enough to know more what's going on, you're not just barely hitting puberty. You're old enough to know what's going on. You're old enough to see that, you know, you're coming into your own for the time. You're old enough to know your own heart and your own mind, even though it is like young and immature, you still know it. 
and immature because of youth, not immature because of idiocy. However, you know what you want. You know what you like. You know what you don't like. You've been a difficult child for your parents. Your mom's chiming in here. She always is, just needs to be so difficult. Why? It's like, why can't you go along to get along a little bit more, please? Why are you rocking the boat? Why, why are you being so difficult? This is from your mom's lens. Why are you being so difficult? You're not being difficult. You know what you like. If you like peas, you like peas. If you like carrots, you like carrots. You're not being difficult. You just think differently than they think. This feels like medieval energy. And it feels like his people do have like a little bit of farmerness in them. Not that they're like peasant farmers, but they do understand how to cultivate the land and work the land. And your family, come on, that's beneath them. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Okay, back to, okay, sorry. That's what's going on. Yeah. Your family is very, very much more pompous than that. And here you are coming in a little bit older as the Queen of Cauldrons. You guys do hook up. You do you do leave. Here, here's you and your young man. Both of you have this cups energy, this watery and this, uh, this emotional energy going on. Both of you have this cups energy. You know there's an alignment. There's a, a perfect reason for this. There's no mock battles that need to be fought. And he's tried to battle. He's tried to prove himself to your parents. Your parents are like not having it. And what I'm getting is that he decides, okay, we're going to elope, we're going to go, we're going to go. As Romeo and Juliet as that would love to be, it's not how it plays out. They throw him in the clink. This is why we're getting the venom, the lover, and the vow. He's in the prison. Wow. High guard, high guard of the prison, high guard. Why? They, your parents don't care if you marry him. They don't care if a priest said uh, you, you got the ideas. The I do's, they have a different contract they want. They want more money. They want the arrangement. They want the plan to go how it was supposed to go. They don't care. They're trying to undo what you guys have done before it's too late. And they think, okay, throw that asshole in prison. Hopefully she's not pregnant yet. Crazy. They've got some cooperation on the inside. And this is, again, the green family, the green family, the green family. Money, 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 the green family, the green family. No, 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 no. He's got friends, too. He's got friends. You're working hard. You're here trying to find your way. Make your way. Navigate a little bit. Figure out what's going on. It's like they would have him in prison and you... I don't know. Cloistered isn't the right word because that means like nunnery. And it's not a nun. It's not a nunnery. It's not a convent. They have you kept away. They've, they've had you guys part company. This is where the vow comes in. And the venom. You, you are totally pissed, enraged. You hate your father for this. You hate him for this. It's just as like, no, no, no. You don't get to determine my future. And your mom thinks you're being just too uppity and your father's chosen well for you. And why are you being so difficult again? This isn't a peas and carrots situation, darling. You don't get to just like what you like. You get to like what your father and I say you will like. And you're going to like the arrangement and that's what's going forward. And you're like, no. They lock you away, so to speak. They put, they bring you back home. They bring you back home. Here it is. I knew it. I knew it. Where you guys left before. You and he left before. Right there, right there. They bring you back home. Right here, right here. You're so un uh, unimpressed with this. You're like, fine. If I'm home, I'm home. I'm not going to do anything you want. I'm not going to participate. You, you just... I don't know how you go on strike and the social manners of what you're supposed to do or not, but if they are not going to let you have who you love, who you want, and he is still in jail, you are raising a stink. So rather than going to the dance and the dress and looking nice and playing nice with all the other socials, you are going to fuck things up. You're going to show up like weird Barbie at the party, completely full on hair blazing mad. Mad. You're going to... It's like... You either let me have what I want. You what, what you want is gone. I'm not doing it. And if you don't give me what I want, I will bring shame on your name. Oh. He's still in jail. And you are at this party. And you are looking outrageous. You're flirting in the ways that are very considered very hoary, very common, very commoner, very sluts or us. 
you know, rule book what you're doing here. You are absolutely queen of wands and about vamping and tramping the whole thing. Hi, here am I. How do you do? How do you do? You're fine, sir. Pum, pum. Flirting like a motherfucker. Oh my gosh, your mom's having shit fits. <laughs> rain it in, rain it in. You have to rain her in. Bring it back, bring it back, rain it in, rain it in. She has to be back, back in. We can't contain this child. What is going to happen? No, 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 no. You have your dance card so full, so inappropriately full. You are hell on wheels, man. Everyone in this party, you are dancing and dancing and playing and interacting and flirting. And if you were going through the ice cream store and trying not just a few flavors for experience, you'd be trying all the flavors twice. Like, of every social standing, every class, everyone... You are you are trying to bring shame on your name all in one night as much as you can, and you will do it again. And you figure if you're menacing enough, obnoxiously enough, disappearing for a little bit. You might not be doing anything wrong, but you're disappearing, and they think you're off to, and God knows what, because you've gone wild. You've gone even. You've gone crazy, wild, uncontrollable thing. You're like, okay, parents, it's time to cut the shit. It's not them telling you to cut the shit after this evening. They are mortified. You tell them it's time to cut the shit because this was the warm up. Fuck me. Dude in prison, he probably is going to hear about this. Who knows what he's going to take that to be. You want your karma, you want your justice, and you will take it. You will cut off whatever associations need to be cut off. And not only will you cut off your nose to spite your face, but your mother's and your father's and their line and their all of their legacy. You will fuck them over. You will do whatever it is to dishonor the name to have the love that you want. And you will continue to do it until this arrangement of him being in jail is done. This is the venom. How long does this go on? Your father is more stubborn than your mother. Your mother is like freaking out. Your father's like, she'll come to her senses. And your mother's like, I don't think so. It's, it's not just peas and carrots. She actually cares for this idiot. Your mom doesn't like the guy. Sorry. You will reject anything offered, anything offered, anything offered. You will go to rowdy places you shouldn't go. And you will go in, full in, like so people will know and recognize who you are. If you can't burn it down literally, you will bring it down. Socially. Do you have friends that understand you, that get you, that know you, that are of similar age? And your friends' parents don't want you hanging out with your friends any further. Because you're going to be smirched their children's names too. And your friends, they don't care. They're, they're teenagers like you. They understand. They're, they're ready to go too. You are a bad influence. Bad influence. Like here's this little happy family and here comes you. Queen of trouble. Coming up, coming up. How does this go on? What? Okay, shades of visitation, shades of a little bit of understanding of how to see him, how to see him. You're like, can I just see him? Can I just see him? They don't want to release him from the prison. This is a while. Shades of visitation is what I'm getting. Empress card is coming up. This goes on for 10 months. About halfway through is when you visit. He's still been in whatever this captivity place is. He's still been withheld from you. And you're, you're working this plan over pretty much five months period of time. You finally get the visitation. They think you'll be disenchanted. You're not disenchanted. You, you, no, nothing's grown weaker between you. Not at all. You're anxious to see each other. This is not the two of swords in battle. You, you, I'm telling you, visitation, look at this. It's like you go incognito and you guys get a little conjugal time. I don't know how to put that any clearer. You come up pregnant and they think... Whose is this bastard child now? They don't possibly think, they can't think outside the box that you might have, you know, figured out a way to get together even regardless. And it feels like that was limited, quick, quick, flash in the pan, conjugal time. Oh my gosh, the shame on the name. They've got to get rid of you now. Oh, wow, wow. They are freaked out. Well done, you. <laughs> You're excited, he's excited. 
it's going to be work. You're going to go back to his people because it's the only way to get rid of you. It's the only way. Yeah, yeah. This goes on over the course of the five months after they first throw him in jail. Then you're pregnant. Then you're pregnant. Then they finally get him out of the jail. This goes on. These people don't get clear of this for years. If they would have not tried to control the storm, it would have been fine. They should have known you better. They should have paid more attention when you were a child and you were stubborn and determined and you liked what you liked or you didn't what you didn't. Defiance was not anything that they should have been surprised by. Outrageous amounts of going to extremes to get what you want and commitment to what it is you love. That's the vow. You loved him. It wasn't so much about him. It's about the level of commitment that it takes to go for the lover that you wanted, the lover that your heart wanted, and whatever it would do. You'd bring down you'd bring down the house. The house would follow, the name would fall, the family crest be smirched, whatever it is. It would all go to shit. And you wouldn't have cared even still. And it's not that you're selfish. It's just they should they should who would try and tame a tornado or a hurricane? What kind of idiot? I'm sorry, I'm a little judgmental, harsh on your parents on this one. They were dealing with this. Strength, energy, energy of Lady Godiva on strength. Lady that has powerful strength as she is, ready to go forward, knows her power, knows her strength, ready to travel, ready to see the world, ready to take things on. Not to be arranged, confined, controlled, made to capitulate and go for this arranged setup. Never would have suited you. Never, never, never. The venom lasted a long time. Did it kill everything and everyone? No. Did it injure? Yes. I don't think you ever made things right with your with your father in his life. And because of that, it interrupted and interfered with the relationship that you had with your mother. I don't think that your family was fond of it. And I don't know that you had any sisters. And I think that's part of the issue. Yeah. I don't think you had any sisters. I think they had a couple of boys, which is great if they're going to work or go to war or whatever. But if you want to marry and increase what your holdings are, you needed a girl. You know, the virtuous girl. And you weren't having it. You wanted what you wanted. That's it. That's, that's, holy smokes. That's complete. Yeah. I would not want to tangle with you. That's like, no, no. That's complete. I think that you were happy in what went forward. And you had at least one with this one. But it's not letting me go further down that track. No. I'm not getting that you lost that child or anything. The pregnancy and the baby that came from this, it seems like that went well. It's not even giving me gender on the baby that went forward with you and this person. You guys honored your marriage, honored your vows, honored your love, and fucked the rest of the world. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> Holy smokes. Great balls of fire. Wow. Your behavior in that life was so audaciously rowdy and inappropriate. It's like you pretty much mooned the whole city from a high tower and like, oh, I'm lady so-and-so, let me introduce myself. Turn around, hike up the skirts and show and hang the fanny at them. It's what you, <laughs> wow. She said, I'm pretty stubborn and determined in this life too. Yeah. I'm quite sure when you know what you want, you know what you want. I wouldn't talk yourself out of it. Take what it is, that fierce determination and the fire that you have, because that's going to carry, carry, carry. So um, use it for your advantage, but maybe not quite so audaciously. I don't know. You know your situation better than I. That's a past life. You know what's relevant. Holy shit balls! Wow. <laughs> wow, honey. <laughs> yeah. Um, they did not know. <laughs> They should have known if they had paid at least half a moment's more attention. Like your mother had a clue, but your father, oh my God, bless his heart. Bless his pointy little head. He had no clue what was going to hit. Holy smokes. <laughs>